Now that the total station is set up and the job has been created, measuring and recording point data is straightforward. To review, we have set MSR1 and MSR2 to measure in either PRISM or non-PRISM mode. For PRISM mode, we have input the PRISM constant noted on the side of the PRISM. We have set up the instrument in a location that has unobstructed view of the monitor point and anticipates the direction of movement we are trying to detect. We have created a job, set all of our variables within that job, and set the instrument station as 1000, 100, 10. We have established a few control point locations in case we need to relocate the instrument to a new location. We have unobstructed view to at least three of these control points. Let's now go through the steps required to measure and record the data for these established points. After the job has been opened and the instrument station established, we need to take one measurement of our monitor point. This will establish the baseline and, after all, is why we have been asked to monitor. Cite the monitor point and press MSR1 or MSR2 depending on the target. Most of the time you will be monitoring a specific piece of a structure and the measurement will be taken in non-PRISM mode. So we cite the monitor point and press the appropriate MSR key. In this case, MSR1. The instrument sends out the laser pulse and reads the distance and coordinates. Note the zero millimeter symbol going across the screen during measurement and the NP along the right-hand edge of the window. These both let you know that you are measuring in non-PRISM mode with a PRISM constant of zero millimeters. After the instrument has finished measuring, it will display the coordinates and distance information of the measured point. When you press the Record Enter button, the instrument brings up the Data Entry menu. Here you can renumber the data point and or name it as well. It is important to remember that the Nikon NPL 352 will increment that last known data point for each measurement. As our last point entered was number 10 for the instrument location, the instrument wants to assign 11 as the next measured point number. Simply highlight the number by pressing the up or down keys and change this number. For our purpose, we number monitor points in the hundreds. As this is our first monitor point, we will number this point 100. Subsequent measurements of this point will be 101, 102, 103, and so on. Height of the target, or HT, is zero, as we are shooting directly at our target. We want to name this point MP100, so we scroll down to the CD line and input MP100 on this line. Then press Record Enter to accept and store the information. After measuring and recording the first monitor point, we are then ready to measure and record our first control point information. We cite on the first control point and repeat the same procedures as before. Cite the control point and press the appropriate MSR measurement key. After the instrument has finished measuring, it will display the coordinates and distance information of the measured point. We number control points in the tens, with our first control being the instrument location and numbered 10. So we number this control point 20. Height of the target is again zero if we are shooting directly at the target. If you are using a prism with or without a pole, you will need to input the height between the actual target and the center of the prism that you are measuring. For this case, we are directly shooting at the target, so our height of target is zero. We scroll down and call the point CP2 and press Record Enter to accept. Then we go back to sight on the monitor point to be sure it is not moving. Follow the same steps as before and record the second measurement. Sight the target, press the MSR key, and input the number and name of the measurement data. We have to change our number again, this time changing it to 101 as we are measuring monitor point 100. Change the name on the CD line.
and press record enter to accept. Then we go and sight on our second control point, which is again a direct shot of the target. We number it 30. Name it CP3. And press record enter to accept and record. After you have established at least three control points, repeated measurements of the same monitor point is very straightforward. Just press the MSR key. Then press the record enter key. Between these measurements is also a good time to log the data on the monitor form or in your field book. Press Record Enter to accept and record. Again, just press the MSR key. It is important to note that if the instrument keeps beeping and doesn't display the measured data information, it is not able to reflect the laser pulse off of the monitor point. This could happen if you are trying to monitor a corner of a building and the laser is reflecting off of the corner but not back to the instrument. In this case, you will need to come back onto the building a little bit to a spot that will reflect the laser back to the instrument. Press Record Enter to accept and record. Sight the monitor point. Press the MSR key. Then press the Record Enter key. Sight the monitor point. Press the MSR key. Press the Record Enter key. If we are requested to start monitoring a second point, we simply sight on it, press the appropriate MSR key, Change the name to MP200. Change the number to 200. Then press Record Enter to accept. For subsequent measurements of MP200, we follow the same steps as before. Cite the point. Press the appropriate MSR key. Then press the Record Enter key. Cite the monitor point. Then press the MSR key. Press the Record Enter key. Cite the monitor point. Press the MSR key. Press the Record Enter key. To bring the recorded information up in order to review or write it down on the form or in your field book, Press the DAT or data key and use the arrow keys to highlight XYZ and press enter. Scroll through the list of recorded data. Highlight the one you want and press enter. Once the coordinate data is displayed for one point, Press the up or down arrow keys again to scroll through the screens to view the XYZ coordinate data of each data point. Press the escape key to back up through the screens and return to the basic measurement screen. After we have recorded the measurement of monitor point 2, we will go back to measuring and recording monitor point number 1. Cite the point. Press the appropriate MSR key. It is also important to remember to go back and take additional measurements of your control points to ensure the instrument has not moved or been bumped out of level. Press the Record Enter key. Sight the monitor point. Then press the MSR key. Press the Record Enter key. Sight the monitor point. Press the MSR key.
Press Record Enter to accept and record.